electric bikes for me are far, far more interesting in, as an engineer than uh, the petrol bikes because the petrol is uh, internal combustion engines are so well advanced. Uh, there isn't so much room for innovation with the electrics. We, there's still a lot that we can do to make real differences in performance. So we're, we're working alongside the making the race bike faster. We're working on uh, telemetry systems that run in the background and that's going to uh, help with monitoring fleets of electric vehicles and, and start to manage uh, condition-based maintenance uh, and maintain fleet availability. That's, that's what we're using the, the race bike to, to develop basically. This current bike weighs 260 kilos, which is over, just over a quarter of a tonne. You feel it when you're first braking, there's a lot of weight transfer. But then once you apply the throttle through a corner or through a chicane, you can actually take the weight away by applying the throttle and you can make it move for you. But you have to, you have to kind of think about the lines you, you want to be on and uh, work out you're going to be. And, and again, work with what you've got. It's a case of this is what they've built, this is what they've supplied me with and I've got to get the best out of it. But it, is, it does feel heavy when you initially brake, yeah. We've got a fly-by-wire throttle. Some of the modern machinery, petrol uh, motorcycles have fly-by-wire throttles, but I'm predominantly used to using proper cables on uh, fuel injection or carburetors. Whereas on this bike, the fly-by-wire throttle can be adjusted and, and they can do that electronically. So again, the technology is there to, to use it. So we play with it and see what we can do, whether it can benefit me. Other than that, we don't have a gearbox, so we don't need a clutch. So it's all about uh, managing the throttle and just managing the brakes into the corners. I don't have to wear earplugs on it, <laughs> for obvious reasons.